Hello my soccer gamers for a way too late Champions League review. Yeah, we are a few days out, but I also thought it is I don't want to skip it honestly. Um, I was traveling with my family, we celebrate my birthday there and for all the birthday wishes I got from you guys I want to thank you now here like this, but I will also thank you otherwise uh, in personal comments. But let's talk um, Champions League overall. I'm wearing Milan. I'm very, very happy because they actually, of all the teams, have probably the biggest improvement in their chances moving forward. However, I think the storylines are uh, concerning more the two giants from uh, past decades, from a past decade that are already out and are also on the forefront of, be, of wanting to have the Super League in Juventus and Barcelona. Um, also, other Super League teams like Atleti are not moving on. <laughs> Although Atleti, I think, quickly reside there as well. Um, so yeah, Spanish teams in general are having not a good championship. Champions League out of the last season they had five in there. They had two in the semifinals. Now uh, only one team makes it to a knockout round, which is Real Madrid. We actually lost for the first time. On the flip side, Portugal's teams, again, last season, they almost had three in the knockout stage. They are again looking very much at the opportunity to have a three in the knockout stage. Portugal, to me, this is an under um, an underappreciated story how those three are actually really, really doing well in Europe. Completely un under it because everyone focuses on the Spanish teams, on the English teams, of course. Uh, although I have to say the group stage for most of the English teams is almost like an afterthought, which is also a little bit uh, weird. Of course, a little bit the Italian teams, a little bit the German teams. But this is where I think most of the stories are going. But Portugal are doing really, really, really well. Spain pff, definitely on the down. It was a great uh, week also for Italian teams. Um, Juve aside, there's a good chance that we have three Italian teams in the uh, round of 16, which is something that hasn't happened for a long, 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 long time. Um, as for, as, as, as I already said, as for the English teams, uh, I think all have it very, are either already qualified or have it very much in their own hands to do so. Um, yes, on the Spurs still, they almost, almost made it. But uh, still not quite there yet. But uh, Chelsea are through, Liverpool are through, and of course Manchester City are through as well. Now, I did see a good chunk of the Tuesday games. For the Wednesday games, I saw a couple of highlights. I just want to highlight now a few results here. I mean, for me, already the first good result is Chelsea beat Salzburg. Yes, I'm from Austria. And yes, uh, it's probably not good for the Austrian coefficient. But I'm Milan fan first and foremost. And for that... I don't really care that much about Sal Salzburg, so for that I really needed to have that, that mean win because that actually meant that Milan will have their own uh, progress uh, in their hands and having a little bit of an advantage there as well. Um, the goals came by Kovacic, who was actually born in Linz, my hometown. Uh, and then uh, Salzburg could equal a brilliant Harvard shot, settle the game for Chelsea, who deservedly won there and you know they got the turnaround they had a bad start to the to Champions League but now with three wins in a row they look good Sevilla yeah lay late on it was actually not a good good performance but they get the three nil uh, meaning they will uh, go in the uh, Europa League which they anyway like as for Milan that game I followed very closely up until, up until it was very much decided um, Early exchanges were kind of going back and forth. However, Milan definitely having already more of the game and having the better chances. And then uh, a, a free kick, I think, by Python is converted by Gabi, of all people. The one who is uh, re replacing tomorrow makes it 1-0. Once Rafa Leao cannot be stopped. I mean, this was a ridiculous run by Leao, on, 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 honestly, because I don't think he will ever find as much space and as lax defending ever again. Well, it was an easy goal, 2-0. At that moment, it was clear. And then uh, Robert Lubicic, an Austrian of Croatian descent, who may play for Croatia, completely blows. He gives away a penalty that Giroud can converge, and then he scores a brilliant on goal. Yeah, bad day for him. Uh, Celtic Schachter, probably Celtic should, should have gotten a win out there. Although, if you see the miss, this is the miss of the season, probably. 
open goal. You just need to tap it in and he puts it wide for Schachter that could have made it 2-1. It's a 1-1 that keeps Schachter very much in the running. Uh, however, they will need a win against Leipzig because Leipzig beat Real Madrid, a second string Real Madrid for their first loss of the season. But you know, Leipzig again. We have the ultimate good versus evil mad matchup of who goes on. Everyone will be behind Schachter. I mean, I'm talking uh, outside of Ukraine. Everyone will be behind Schachter. And most people can definitely see that Leipzig is not that happy story that they want to make themselves out to be. Uh, death of Didi Mateschitz, um, uh, notwithstanding. But hey, so, so it will be. Uh, I have been asked on my thoughts on the passing of Didi Mateschitz. I think he was a... I cannot tell you much. I saw, I, it was coming... Uh, yes, uh, uh, sports will lose a big um, a big investor, let's put it that way. I don't know what it means for the Red Bull teams. I think they have funding uh, for now that they will keep them afloat. Um, as much as I hate the project that he created, uh, thanks to the project, I think he raised the level of the Austrian League. That's something that I want him to be remembered for. Also, I think his investment in Leipzig, I see it also from the sense that Eastern Germany needed a team uh, that can be supported. And I think with that, he did actually something rather good. Um, so, yeah, but, you know, there are many pros and cons. He's definitely figured to be missed. Dortmund definitely will have uh, missed Holland because uh, it was such a weird, weird, weird game. City had the possession, didn't know what to do with it. Dortmund had the chances, didn't know what to do with it. They don't have, have a finisher. Holland came off at halftime. Uh, of course, Gundogan, uh, no, uh, Mare, what was, was it? Gundogan or Mares? Mares, I think, missed the penalty. City missing penalty penalties. Um, and there you go. Uh, it's a nil-nil. The Group H games, goals galore. Although the 4-3 between Benfica and Juventus belies how dominant Benfica was. When it was 4-1 Benfica, that was clearly what it was. Then Juventus basically threw it, threw it away and said, okay, let's bring the young guys on. They got it back, but Benfica completely don't, don't, don't dominate them. Juve is a shambles. Absolutely. That 4-3 was actually a little bit of a, a fluke. Um, and PSG, Maccabi Eiffel, that was the M&M show. I mean, so many goal scorers. And then even uh, Sek, a Senegalese defender for Maccabi, gets two goals in there as well. Yeah, defending was a great. It was not a good day for the defense. But when you just look at how Messi is orchestrating this attack and how can anyone be unhappy if you play in such a forward line? Yes, you may not play your position that you want, but it actually is so, must be so joyful. However, I have heard that certain people don't like it. Uh, the Tuesday, the Thursday, uh, Tuesday, Thursday, the Wednesday week, we, we eventually get there. We're a little bit far off, but they were not um, short of drama in, in, in the end. I mean, the early games, Porto 4-0 over Club Rouge. Club Rouge already qualified, even think in first place. Okay, they let it slide. Inter uh, missed a few chances, but in the end, 4-0 over Victoria Pilsen. And that meant they are qualified dead rubber in Barcelona. Ajax uh, controlled the early stages of the, of the game, but Liverpool in the end uh, scored the goal, so a uh, 3-0. But most Liverpool fans that I hear uh, were not happy with the performance, that they were a little bit lucky. But that means that Liverpool still have a chance to finish first in the group, despite Napoli beating uh, Rangers 3-0. Simple reason being that, you know, if they win the head-to-head -head against Napoli, then they have, have, have a chance. Napoli is still on a tear to make it probably... Uh, the most goals scored in a group stage might be the perfect group. Uh, the group stage Liverpool need, need to win by three clear goals, and then uh, we have 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 to see if goal difference will go their way because I don't. Yeah, it might act, it might actually work out that they, they will go that way. At the Wanda, uh, Civitas, uh, it's not a Civitas Metropolitan. I, I, it's, I hate name sponsors. Just call it in some uh, way. Any case. Uh, Atletic had only managed 2-2 against Leverkusen, but all the talk is about. The game had ended, then they see a handball, Atletic get a lifeline, they get a penalty, it goes on the bar, uh, the rebound, uh, or, or I think it is saved, the rebound goes on the crossbar and then um, Renildo can pull it home, only to it Carrasco who had missed the penalty. <laughs> <laughs> crazy, crazy, crazy scenes. 
Uh, Barcelona fold against Bayern. I think it's the only way I can. I I I can. I, I can say it. Barcelona in the Champions League. Uh, it's not a good story at the moment, and questions need to be asked. And I don't want to ask him of Xavi. I think Xavi should be given time, but questions have to be asked of how the squad was built. That's all I want to say there. But Group D is the one where it's really at. All teams can still qualify and still can get eliminated. Frankfurt give themselves a huge short boost in, in, in the arm. Um, largely controlling the first half, um, at which they win 2-1. Marseille then having quite a few chances in the second half, but overall Frankfurt, I think, deserve to get their win, uh, which gives them now a shot at progressing. Spurs were down to Sporting, who actually had a few good, good, good chances available, but overall Spurs then, uh, although not looking good, they get an equalizer and then Harry Kane in stoppage time scores what everyone thought is the winner and the ticket to the next round. Alas, it was an offside. Correct call. Conte absolutely going mental on that one. I don't know. It's technology. You don't. This is not a conspiracy by referees against you, Mr. Conte. But who am I to talk to you? Let's look at the standings here. As, as I said, Napoli, Liverpool, uh, it's between the two, two of them. I'm just thinking if Liverpool uh, scores three, they will have a goal difference of plus 12. If then Napoli uh, will not work out, it's third, 13. So Liverpool need to win. No, they only need, nee, nee, need yeah, they need to win the head to head. Um, if they win three, it's even, then it goes to a goal given. So they need to uh, win by four clear goals. Ain't gonna happen. 7% chance, though, to making it that happen. So, uh, just to give you uh, an, an idea. As I say, Club Rouge is already through. Porto, I think, still could make it in first place. Let's see where, how, how I'm going to go. Club Rouge having him to play Lev Leverkusen, who will probably want to fight for the last Europa League spots, which Atletico Madrid against Porto, you know. Uh, might might happen. Uh, Bayern, Inter, Barcelona has all decided everything to play for with between Spurs, Sporting, Eintracht and uh, OM. Sporting having a home game against Eintracht is probably the boost that they will need and I actually would fa I would really favor favor them to get, get them. Spurs have to go to Marseille. I honestly unless they really play as badly as they will, I honestly will think a Spurs will get the point that they need. But this group is wide open, everything to play for. It's a, a great group to play. Uh, we have also Chelsea ahead of Milan and Salzburg. Chelsea already in first place because they have to head to head ahead against Milan. Milan just need to avoid defeat on the last match day against Salzburg. So uh, they are favored there to go through. Um, Schachter need a win against Leipzig and then they win the head to head. So uh, that, that, that's where they look good. Uh, group G decide and Group H. It's all about first place. And yeah, uh, as we will see, PSG have to play at Juve, where's Befik at home to Maccabi Haifa. It will come down to goal difference. And that will be interesting. Um, Befik have to play in Haifa. So that will be, it's very much, I, I know my model gives for some reason Befik the chance because I think Haifa has, is probably, there's a bigger chance for PSG to lose points than for Benfica. Uh, but when it comes down to gold, goal difference, I think PSG has a slight advantage. It's a knife's edge uh, thing. I don't know if it matters whether you're home or away first. As for favorites, Liverpool actually lost a little bit because they're only now in second spot and can get a pretty tough opponent in the next round. Uh, other than that, Inter Dortmund are in. Uh, we see Milan moving also up Spurs. Napoli actually lose, lose, losing a little, a little bit of a spot, but you know, I... Not much there, on, 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 honestly, so far. Um, best performance, I already said, the two Milan teams and Porto and Sporting and Benfica is also in there. Chelsea with having qual qualifiers, of course, also in there as well. Whereas on the negative side, you see all the teams everywhere. We had the US, the Barcelona, the Atleticos, Red Bull, Salzburg, because they actually uh, messed up a good position. But they almost did so last season and then they made it. So I'm still holding my horses. As for upcoming games... We have uh, OM, Spurs, Sporting, Eintracht. I think that's the big one there. Liverpool, Napoli for first place. And I don't know if anything in Group B is all that interesting, although there's definitely a bad blood between Porto and Atletico. These are the early games uh, for the group, group B. Then uh, we have, as I said, Schachter against Leipzig. Uh, shootout, Schachter need to win against Le 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 Leipzig. Then another important head to end with Milan and Salzburg. And then, of course, uh, who will make first place between you, PSG, and Maccabi Haifa and Benfica? I think those are the games to look forward to. 
So yeah, that was it from Champ Champions League. Not much said and still a 50 minute video in any case. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Please drop a line, line below if you want to um, say anything that I didn't mention. I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the little bell icon so to get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye.